Welcome to your first online video lecture. We're going to start today by covering some terms that we're going to be needing for section 1.7. The first term is variable. A variable is a letter that we use to represent an unknown number. A constant is a number all by itself. A term is a number um, and or variables that are connected only by multiplication. And because division is the inverse of multiplication, meaning that we can write all multiplication problems as division problems, they can also be connected by division, because we can write division as multiplication. Coefficient is also a number, but it's a number that's connected to a letter in a term. So it is the number part. of a term. An algebraic expression is one or more terms connected by operating and or grouping symbols. And you want to remember with expressions, there is no equal sign. And then one last vocabulary word here before we start using some of these. To you'll often see in your directions that they want you to evaluate something, evaluate an expression. And what that means is that you are to substitute in a number for the variable, and they'll tell you which number they want you to sub in. Then Simplify by following order of operations. So a quick example of some of these, just to have this make a little bit more sense. If we look at the expression 3x plus 2, Our variable is the x. Our constant, because it's by itself, is the 2. Our coefficient is the 3 because it's attached to the x. And we call this whole thing 3x plus 2 an algebraic expression. You'll notice it doesn't have any equal sign in it. That's what makes it an expression. If we wanted to evaluate it, we'd be given a value for x, and then we would use order of operations to solve. So let's look at some examples of doing that. Our first example is to evaluate 3p plus 7 when p is equal to 10. So to do this, we're going to rewrite the expression 3, put the 10 in parentheses, 
and then write 7. You'll notice I just took that letter P, put a set of parentheses instead, and wrote a 10 where I used to have the P. Now we'll follow order of operations to solve this. When a number is right next to a letter, remember the operation that's connecting them is multiplication. So this means 3 multiplied by P. Since P is 10, we're going to take 3 and multiply by 10. That will give us 30, and then we add the 7 for a total of 37. To do the same thing for a P of negative 4, we'll have 3 times negative 4 plus 7. 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. Negative 12 plus 7 is negative 5. And then lastly, one here that's a little bit more complicated. We're going to substitute in a negative 8 for the C and a 2 for the D every place that they occur. So when I go to solve this, I have 4 times negative 8, which is a negative 32, and minus a 5 times 2, which is 10. That'll give me a top of negative 42. In my denominator, I have negative 8 plus 2, which will leave me with negative 6. And then I simplify that fraction. 42 divided by 6 is 7. And since both of them were negative, my answer will be positive.